Hello everyone, welcome to MK Graphics channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to alphabetically sort a list in Adobe InDesign. I will demonstrate a simple and effective technique that allows you to arrange your list in either chronological or alphabetical order. So let's get started. Now let me illustrate this with an example. I am creating an Indian restaurant menu and I prefer to showcase dishes in alphabetical order to separate vegetarian and non-vegetarian options. Let me guide you through the process how I arrange this. The key to achieving this is by using InDesign scripts. To access scripts, head to the Windows menu, navigate to Utilities and select Scripts. In this script panel, you will find three folders. The application folder with all the default scripts, the community-based scripts that recently added by Aruvi, and the user scripts folder where you can find or store all your own scripts or the scripts you downloaded from the net. How to sort list alphabetically? Let's leverage this fantastic feature. Go to the application folder Find the sample folder, double click to open it, then access the JavaScript folder and then locate the sort paragraph script. There are a lot of useful scripts over here, but we need right now the sort paragraph script. Before running the script, make sure you have selected the list you want to rearrange alphabetically. So let me first select my text here. Once your text is selected, double click on the sort paragraph script. It will prompt you with the sorting options. For quicker results, select ignore formatting. And if you wish to retain your formatting like me, like my list is not very long, choose retain formatting. And leave the ignore spaces is selected and then click OK. And that's it. Now you can see how easily it organized my list in alphabetical order. It neatly divided the meat appetizers from the veg appetizers, just as I wanted. Have you tried sorting list using scripts in InDesign? Let me know your experiences or any questions you might have in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.